والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book, إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Ramadan is your second chance to achieve ikhlas in this month so that you can continue. We talked about the word of Tawheed, La ilaha illallah, which means ikhlas, sincerity. This word, brothers and sisters in Islam, the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and the earth. La ilaha illallah is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the messengers. La ilaha illallah is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the books. La ilaha illallah is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created paradise and hellfire. It's so precious of a word for you to keep and implement in your lives. It will help you in the hereafter. It will also help you in this world. We were unable last episode to complete a beautiful story that Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah compiled in his hadith in his sahih in hadith Abdullah ibn Umar radiyallahu anhuma the story is three individuals from Bani Israel went out into the desert and a thunderstorm hit the area where they were traveling. Of course, the Prophet ﷺ told us that we should seek refuge once there is a thunderstorm. And the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, in hadith Aisha radiallahu anha, in the book of Tafsir, when she asked him sallallahu alayhi wasallam, why every time you see rain and thunder, you go inside and you become concerned and worried. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, O oh, Aisha, how do you know that this is not a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? People before us, and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was referring to the people of Nuh. فَلَمَّا رَأَوْهُ عَارِضًا مُسْتَقْبِلَ أَوْدِيَتِهِمْ قَالُوا هَذَا عَارِضٌ مُمْتِرُنَا بَلْ هُوَ مَسْتَعْجَلْتُمْ بِهِ رِيحٌ فِيهَا عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ Once they saw the clouds and the thunder in front of them, they said that thunder will bring us rain. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is responding to them. No, this is the punishment coming to you. So those three individuals went inside the cave. A huge rock that falls down by the lead of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِنَّ مِنَ الْحِجَارَةِ لَمَا يَشَّقَّقُ مِنْهُ الْأَنْهَارِ وَإِنَّ مِنْهَا لَمَا يَهْبِطُ مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ Fall down and blocked the entrance to that cave. Those three individuals, brothers and sisters in Islam, became certain that with their manpower, they cannot come out of that cave. They cannot push the truck away so that they can create an exit way for themselves. But yet, 
they are aware that they have to try to save their lives. So they sat and they talked to one another and they decided that each one of them will ponder and contemplate a bona deed that he done sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or at least who thought, he thought that this deed had a great portion of sincerity in it. Let's hear them. The first one, a shepherd. He said, Oh Allah, I used to have a habit. The habit is that I would come at night and I would milk my animals and I would give my parents, father and mother, who are elders, a drink, ghamuq. And one day, I came late from shepherding the whole day. And I arrived late, and after I milked my sheep, I found my father and mother still asleep, or started sleeping already. They are old. I did not want to disturb them. And at the same time, I did not want to disrupt the habit that I had. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I open the books, I don't find that level of kindness to parents as I see in the deed of this man. Here he is, standing up, shepherding his sheep for the whole day, following his flocks. And we know this work requires a great deal of patience. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had all the prophets actually shepherding. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, ما من نبي إلا وراء الغنم Every prophet shepherded. Why? Because it teaches patience. Here he is, spent the whole day going through the hardship of shepherding. And here he is standing all night long in order to fulfill the habit, the deed that he established. Because the most beloved deed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most beloved deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that is continuous. Meanwhile, his children are whining beneath his feet, but he refused. He waited until the morning. His father and mother woke up. He given them their ghamuq, their evening drink at their sabuh drink, at their morning drink time. Look what he said. Oh Allah, if I have done this sincerely for you, in fa'altu hadha abtigha amardatik, oh Allah, make the truck move. Here it is, brothers and sisters in Islam. A sincere deed made a rock, a huge rock move. But yet, not enough for the three of them to go out. Now it's the turn of the second one. This one was exposed to the fitna that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in hadith Usama ibn Zayd, رضي الله عنهما, أشد فتنة على الرجال, أشد فتنة على الرجال, النساء, the women. He loved his cousin so much. He said, كنت أحبها أشد ما يحب الرجل المرأة. I used to love her more than a man loves a woman. And she got married. She went away from me. I used to be well off. Her and her husband got into some financial crisis. She needed some help. She came to me. And now it was my chance to ask her to allow me to have her in a haram way, to commit zina with her. In return, I will give her the loan that she wants. She was a chaste woman. She refused. She said no. But she went around seeking help, seeking relief for her and her husband, financial crisis, asking for a goodly loan from the people around her. All of her, them turned her down. She had to come back again to the same man, to her cousin, asking him for the loan. And she told him, 
now he can have her. But she did not give up. Once he sat to her, in front of her, as the man, as a man sits in front of a woman, she reminded him again. She said, Ittaqillah, fear Allah, and don't do this, because you have no right to do so. Look at this righteous man. He stood up, as soon as he got reminded of the fear of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, فَقُمْتُ عَنْهَا وَهِيَ أَحَبُّ النَّاسِ إِلَيْهِ I stood up and I left and she was the most, the most beloved person to me. I wanted her so bad, but I left because she reminded me of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I left her with the money that she needed. What a brave man. Only few men come out of that situation, brothers and sisters in Islam. Brothers and sisters in Islam, at the end, this man says, Oh Allah, if I have done this sincerely for you, move the truck so we can go out. Look at that sincere deed. Move the truck, but not enough for the three of them to go out. Now it's the turn of the third one. And here is his story. He used to be a businessman. Someone who hires other people to work for him. And he agreed with them to a certain wage. You work for a day, you get so much money. One day, he hired more than one person. And one of them just decided to work double everyone else. Double everyone else. He worked twice. So at the end of the day, he's giving each worker his wage at the end of the day. That person who worked double... He said, no, I work man that more than anyone else. He said, I agreed to a certain wage. He got upset and he left. You know what this businessman did? He infested his wage for him. Years and years. He purchased some animals for him with that wage. And after that, the animals multiplied and multiplied and multiplied. Years later, the wage of that person became a valley filled with flocks of animals. The man came back and he said, I wanted my wage. He approached the man and he told him, look, this is all your money. He told him, please do not mock me, do not make fun out of me, just give me my wage. He said, this is your wage, I infested it for you. Look at this sincere man. He did not take the wage of the man, he did not add it to his money. Just like this, he infested it for him. O oh Allah, if I have done this sincerely for you, remove the truck. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the truck was removed, and the three of them were able to go out. But before I finish, let me ask you this question. If you were their fourth, and you have to come up with a deed that you done sincerely for Allah, can you remember one? Can you? If you can't, why don't you strive to work sincerely for Allah? Brothers and sisters in Islam, Ramadan is your second chance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light.